In this video, we're going to be taking a look at ISO 222 and how it will be impacting the banking industry. Yo, what's going on, my people? Welcome back to the Live Capital YouTube channel where life is for the taking. And today we're going to be talking about uh, ISO 222 and more so its impact on the banking industry. Now, for those who don't know, ISO 222 is a new standard of messaging that's going to be adopted by banks all over the world. But what does that really mean for you? So stay tuned. I'm going to be explaining all about that impact on the banks but before we go ahead and do that guys please go ahead and hit that like button hit the subscribe and as well hit the bell so you don't miss out and as well understand this all right we're probably going to be getting away from even cruising through the top 100 you guys already know that coin market cap is just full of manipulation and pretty much just all misinformation if anything you could just check out what the masses are doing but if you are new to this channel understand we, we're not the mainstream over here we don't really pay attention to anything except for utility cryptos and iso compliant cryptos and mainly the chosen five so i'm just be really showing you guys mostly the chosen five and a little bit of tidbits that are going to be coming from that we have a lot of news lined up for you guys and it's all good but let's uh, look at our um our, our prices right now, your XRP right now is at 40 cents, your XDC uh, 41, as you guys can see, he's at 88, rank 88 right now, guys. So really understand that. Um, really, again, if you are new, understand XDC is completely underrated. They're going to be handling um, more so global trade. OK, trade finance. So please look through our library. You'll definitely understand uh, our flavor for XDC. Your Stellar right here is at 12 cents. Understand we do have some news uh, coming out from them uh, about what's going on with the Stellar uh, Development Foundation right now over in Davos. As well, we have uh, Algorand right here at 40 cents. Guys, please, again, understand and realize Algorand is the blockchain partner for FIFA. OK, so once we have mass adoption, once we actually go more so into the future, we're really going to be seeing how these cryptos are going to be utilized plus as well they adopt all of these cryptos speak the iso 222 messaging standard as well here you have your iota at 32 cents not going to hesitate to show you guys this as well out of all the chosen five this is the one i recommend you guys definitely take advantage of and i'm telling you man you know of course you have a it's a rarity when you have a a, a full supporter of the chosen five like all of the chosen five and that's fine what we really do recommend is at least taking in three out of the out of five but the one that people completely sleep on is your iota and really to remind you guys back in 2017 536 a token okay 536 because they they understood back then we all realized what this whole thing was back then before it was diluted and manipulated to the point that it is um but really i want to show you guys that this one right here that there's going to be a uh, governance forum uh the new face of community participation just basically uh a little bit more iota news really uh and as well that the iota staking was about so more so uh wanting to give you guys some more information just to park my car a little bit on iota uh just so you guys can understand there's more developments that are coming out about the firefly wallet uh so they, their ecosystem is expanding please look at our iota 2.0 uh revolution video that that we really take a dive into their ecosystem and really break it down uh, so let's go ahead and get into our updates right now, people. So we haven't been talking enough about the Flare Finance, uh, the Flare Network and everything too, too much. Um, there's a reason for that, really, because... Um, they're preparing for the Flare network to launch uh, on the 4th of July. And if, as you guys know, Flare is connected to a lot of things uh, in regards to XRP, in regards to even using smart contracts on XRP um, and connected to a lot of different things. But it's been delayed, delayed, delayed. So I want to put this out there. You have Flare Finance that's built, I believe, on Canary on or excuse me, on Songbird. Uh, so we're going to be talking about Songbird a little bit. But I wanted to t let you guys know that they're going to be doing these airdrops for uh, X fi holders now when they're saying here for flare holders i believe that they're talking about when they do release release the spark you know those spark tokens for people but if for the people who do have flare right now those ious and whatnot i guess i believe there's going to be some d flare that's going to be dropping but aren't we all waiting for our spark tokens you know uh but with that being said you have the optical uh optical finance optical finance now supports songbird um the canary network of by you know flare flare networks uh but showing you that they support 
And as well, of course, guys, I want to put this one out there as well. Your decent wallet is now integrated with Songbird. So, of course, even though uh, you have your ERC20 version of your Songbird that's there, you can still utilize your decent wallet for that way. Um, just want to put this out there as well. Just once you have your decent wallet, you can also use your swap just like you would have on a, a hot wallet or something. You can connect your Web3, if you will, through your phone, all on your wallet, all on your decent wallet. So it's really good stuff there. Uh, now, right here, we have uh, Justin from Watcher Guru. He put in just in the Nigerian government has adopted Algorand for the commercialization of all IPs in the country. Guys, this is this is huge news, as you guys already know. Um, Algorand has been doing the thing lately. Uh, but want to show you guys this right here from the Koi Banks. Um to develop Nigeria's official platform for commercialization of all the IPs in the country on Algorand. So as you guys can see, Koi Banks, we're building the next generation financial infrastructure right here. So go ahead and give them a follow if you're interested in that. A little bit more about that. Want to show you all the uh, uh, Nigeria to launch major crypto initiative, IP exchange, marketplace and wallet on the uh, on Algorand in partnership with developing Africa Group and Koi Banks. So the Nigerian government has signed a three year ex uh, exclusive uh, IPR that's intellectual property right agreement with developing Africa Group to launch a nationwide wallet, which will which will enable the international commercialization of all IP forms being created and registered within the country, both locally and internationally. So, of course, um, the IP forms that are reached above mentions are going to be including trademark patents, copyright songs, lyrics, video shows, all those different things. They're going to handle that a marketplace exchange wallet all on Algorand. So good stuff that more development out of uh, Africa. So right here uh, from Utility for the Win, okay, uh, Ripple and Stellar representing in Davos, Ethereum and Consensus not found. Ethereum and Consensus not found. So as you guys can see in attendance, Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, mm -hmm, representing for the USA. And as well, you have Danelle Dixon here, the CEO of the SDF, which is the Stellar Development Foundation, representing for the US. But let's see if we find anybody from Ethereum. Nope. Okay, no matches found. Anybody from consensus? No. Mm -hmm. So, guys, of course, if you are new to this channel, really understand XRP and Ripple, and really we're going to dig even more into it, but XRP and, uh, excuse me, Ripple and Stellar are really representing for the ISO 222 standard body. Okay, so when it comes down to blockchain based solutions, you know, who's who else is who's on the table when it when it comes to actually being uh, uh, modernizing payments, a new era of digital money, who's on the table? And clearly you're seeing it's XRP and Stellar. They're they're representing right there. Your Ethereum's not going to be used for payments. Your you know, consensus can't touch the banks. You know what I'm saying? Your Ethereum it can't work that way. So uh, right here, a uh, seller I put out Danelle. Dixon is going to be joining other industry leaders to discuss crypto's carbon footprint at the WEF in Davos. So again, guys, really understand this. Like we've said over here on this side, if your crypto is energy in, in, in intensive, if you're, you know, proof of work, if you're, you know, you're going to have a target on your back. You get what I mean? You have to have a sustainable blockchain these days or it's going to be targeted or regulated out. Uh, so breaking from here for my XRP holders, you have uh, attorney John Deaton has filed a motion letter asking to represent 67,000 plus XRP holders like me and you in the Ripple case against the SEC. So, guys, of course, John Deaton has been representing, you know, for a lot of uh, for a lot of holders and everything now, but he's filing a motion. Because people are getting impatient. People are getting hungry. People are like, look, what's the hold up, man? When is this going to happen? And that's the thing, dude. They've been they've been you could you could say they've been prophesying it for a while that this thing was going to get rough when they called it a storm. A storm isn't, you know, it takes resolve. OK, Jesus was sleeping in the in the storm. OK, that it takes resolve. OK, um, so right here you have the digital pound date pound digital pound foundation yesterday at the WEF. You have somebody from CNN sat down with the IMF, Bank of Thailand, Central Bank of France and Credit Suisse AG to discuss the future roles of CBDCs. So really quickly, I want you guys to keep this image in mind. Of course, the Bank of Thailand, Bank of uh, France, Credit Suisse and the IMF. What I want to show you guys this image, of course, is an XX breakdown. As you guys can see, the XX in there is his handle. I'm just giving him his due. But I want to give you guys a, a just an overall look of how the digital pound, digital euro is going to be having its place. And as you guys can see, uh, Stellar and Ripple have their place already there. Um, you see Bank of France, uh, Bank of England, obviously, with the digital pound right here. And then uh, um, 
even the National Bank of Ukraine with Stellar's association, the digital euro already in itself, which Ripple is already a part of the uh, foundation, but it's going to be handling all of these different countries, as you can see, you know, the digital euro is going to be handling it. So here's our main point, guys. Here's our main point. Uh, ISO 222, the standard understanding the impact of payments really quickly. The abstract of this, I really like how they did this. The global payment industry moved to use ISO as the default messaging standard is picking up pace by the year uh, 2023. A major portion of the world's payment systems are expected to move to the ISO 222 messaging standard. This paper explains the impact of the switch on the existing banking systems that have been using custom formats and SWIFT standards for decades. Check this out, y'all. So the impact on banks adopting ISO 2022 will mandate changes to banking systems and processes. Proactive preparation will make for a hassle free and smooth migration, which we'll talk about that right now. I think what's really important is that people want to understand and know what ISO 222 is, but the banks need us as retail need to understand that there is a proactive preparation going on. You get what I mean? We're going, this is a migration that's happening of what we're talking about. So adopting a structured agile approach will enable incremental delivery of change to comply with the regulation, as well as the ability to adapt to evolving regulations and new products. The uh, impacts can be categorized into some key areas. One payment engines, Payment engines, y'all. You already know where I'm at with that <laughs> Ripple Net. You know what I mean? Your APIs, all of that stuff. But again, your payment engine. Core to ISO 2022 adoption is the back end payment engine that consumes and produces the messaging format, enables end to end processing and communication with other enterprise services. Understand this, guys. Understand this. If your crypto, okay, is able to produce and speak that messaging format and is and is able to enable that end to end processing, that's the point. That's why these companies have 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 uh, heralded their technologies to be able to handle this you know enabling the payment engine to use iso 2022 format as the can can a canonical yep canonical model is not essential to success however many payment products and banks are adopting this approach given its rich structure data structure and the thought that has gone into developing the standard at a minimum use uh, uh use of the iso data type will simplify format translations that's what we've said to y'all that's what we said this whole time. It's speaking the same language. You remember the Tower of Babel? You know, the reason why they were able to build such a tall tower is because they were all speaking the same language. And that's why God came in and said, OK, well, <laughs> let's stir this up a little bit. You know, and that's now we have all these languages. You know, uh, excuse me. But the other fundamental change will revolve around decommissioning or am decommissioning multiple engines that are currently aligned to the existing payment schemes y'all hear that we're, we're decommissioning we're taking it apart we're breaking it down all this and that's the thing you had all that confusion more so about oh swift is dead swift is out of here swift is gone no swift more so they've given swift a little uh a little hitch this thing called swift gpi which we'll talk about that but still they're, they're going to coexist they're going to coexist. So seriously, if you are new over here, if you just got into this channel, really realize you're going to learn about ISO over here. And please dive through our uh, our library. Before we got on this thing, we were looking at some other projects. There's some other projects out there, but this is key. So uh, migration to ISO 222, smooth migration ensures minimal impact to the bank's customers. If you're just talking a few different things um, about bank customers and stuff, end-to-end -end ISO uh, adoption. To fully utilize the benefits of richer data structures of ISO and ensure consistency, the way banks interact with consumers and corporate entities will need to change. Boom. You get what I'm saying? So that's what I want you guys to really understand. It's not as if we're just all for the central banks over here. Really realize what you thought of the central banks before ISO is going to come about. Like I said, we're going to be reaching new stratospheres of wealth. But at the same time, they're going to be utilizing these blockchain based solutions. OK, so the way that they, they communicate with uh, consumers and customers and all of that, it'll go away from being a walled siloed thing to now they're all going to be speaking the same language beyond jurisdictions, beyond governments. Governments, 
So data storage and management, all these different things. Banks have uh, have to complete development and testing and migrate to ISO by 2022. So again, obviously you guys know the Eurozone is going to be uh, coming alive in November and Swift is going to migrate. This can be achieved by managing the translation from legacy formats to ISO at the message at the message gateway. However, reaping the complete benefits of the ISO format will require the enhanced data and new data points to percolate into the channels as well as a consumer and organization that initiate the payment. So as well, that's all that's all bank bank stuff. But at the, at the same time, there's so many different um, companies and, and cryptos, man, that's really why Ripple is so prominent now is because, look, we're right here on the table. We want to work with you. We're a part of the standards body. Come on, let's do this thing. World Bridge currency. We have the technology. It's just there. It simply just works. So we're going to have a gradual, then sudden uh, increase, you know, in, uh, in, in engagement and liquidity. But last but not least, I want to show you guys this y'all is getting bad for Gary. It's getting bad for Gary. They're pulling up yearbook pictures. Y'all people at the crib pulling up yearbook pictures on this man. You know what I'm saying? Just it's, it's out there. Wow. <laughs> Jed McCaleb. Wow. But look, I appreciate you making it to this part of the video. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit the subscribe as well. Hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of our updates. But I'll holler at you later. Peace. Mm -hmm.